it was very good to see him again. As always, he was gracious and welcoming. And when I saw him in the makeup for the first time with his beard and the whole thing, as Eugene Smith, that was, uh, that was very impressive and, and very encouraging because he thought, oh yeah, this whole thing might just work. I wasn't familiar at all. Uh, I may have seen photographs without knowing who, whose they were. I was an avid reader of Life magazine when I was young. It was like the big magazine. And it was always exciting, not least because the photographs were always so great. Um, but I didn't actually know about him and I didn't know about this story before I read the script. Well, Robert Hayes, in the end, in the original script it was Robert Hayes. Uh, subsequently, we decided that it needn't be any kind of portrait and that actually there were several very um, significant editors and it could be an amalgam of, any of, of all of them. So uh, uh, I didn't do any research into Robert Hayes whatsoever. That's of great interest to me, yeah, because as you say, it is the most uh, powerful uh, tool for good or for evil, and um, it's great to tell a story where, where people are responsible and, and do try and speak truth to power. He was terrific. I didn't know anything about Andrew Levitas. I met him as I arrived. Uh, and he couldn't have been better. He was, he was deeply prepared, he was very encouraging, he was courteous, which is a big thing for me, and he was smart as anything. Smarter than me, which is sort of what you require. And he, uh, you know, and he was under some pressure, there wasn't a great deal of time, uh, money therefore time, in the usual way with independent movies, and he had a big story to tell and he did it uh, extremely well. Well, I was playing American, so I was quite concerned to get that right. I've done it a couple of times, but not in, a, in any significant way, not in any substantial way. And also, I was working with a, a director from New York who's, you know, he now tells me that I remind him of his father. So I think, you know, we, he, he's either, you know, bullshitting me or I, I did okay. Well, it not, uh, not in any profound way. I mean, you just go to work. I was actually in Belgrade, and they were, and Japan was Montenegro. But uh, I, uh, you, you know, I was. It was quite, it was quite uh, helpful to be within that small, lo within my the the location, which was my office, and for all of my stuff to be in there. I quite liked that feeling of operating simply from there. Well, there's a one scene in my bedroom. But uh, I don't think it affected me at all, except I was jealous that they were all going to, as it were, Japan. Yeah, I was, un I was unfamiliar with the story. I, it was very shocking, and it's just, you know, every time you hear of one of these abuses, you know, we're big business, you know, they forget the bit about how it might be destroying people or the environment or whatever, just in their quest to make more money. Uh, it's always you, you, it's always kind of bewildering because you think, well, not only how could you persist with something like that once you've been told about it, how could you then deny it and continue to deny it? You know, I mean, the ob reasons are obvious, but it is it is sort of breathtaking how human beings can somehow justify that kind of uh, abuse. I haven't seen the film, I never watch the film. Uh, I just, uh, because it undermines me and I have to go to work again, so I try and do nothing that's gonna make things, you know, more difficult. Johnny Depp ga Nihon wo eigaku. Dumping that toxic waste into the sea. ミナマタ。